the Mesa welcome to plates for goodies. Today I'll be making classic European filled tortillas. So let's get started. For the dough I'm using the mixer, 300 ml of room temperature milk, 500 grams of plain flour, one egg, three tablespoons of olive oil, a good pinch of salt, and a teaspoon of dry yeast. First thing I do is mix the yeast with the milk and let it dry for a few minutes. Now I'm going to add the flour to the bowl. The egg, the salt. My yeast is very well dissolved, so I'm going to add the milk as well. I'll mix well on low until the flour is well incorporated. So one minute into mixing, the flour is well incorporated. Now I'm going to add the oil and mix well for three to four more minutes. After a few minutes of mixing, my dough is ready, so I'm going to remove it into a smaller bowl. I'm going to cover it up and let it dry for one hour. After one hour, my dough double in size, so now I'm going to make the tortillas. So here I have six of the classic filling of tortillas, but of course, the sky is the limit for how many things you can fill a tortilla with. One of the classic filling is simply sugar. The second one is ricotta cheese with some cinnamon and sugar. And of course you're going to put as much sugar and cinnamon balance as you want. The third one is simply mashed potatoes with some salt and pepper. The fourth one is cabbage, which I cut it very, very fine. I put some salt and pepper and mix it a little bit. So I just mix it well. I have here some Danish butter, but really any salted cheese will do. And I mix it with some finely cut chives, so I give it a good mix. To this one you can also add some fresh dill. And the sixth one is one green grated apple with some sugar and cinnamon. And of course you're going to put a balance in it as well. I just mix well. Another thing I did with the apple before I mixed it is drain all the juice out. I help myself with a little bit of oil on the table and I'll put the dough on the table as well. I'll cut the dough in seven equal pieces. I'll put them aside and start to make the tortillas. So I'll flatten up a little bit. I'll put some cheese. I'll wrap it up together. I turn it on the other side. Press it a little bit down. And roll it to your desired thickness. I like it really, really thin. So the minute I finish one, I go and cook it. On the cooktop, I prepared the pancake pan, just a little bit of oil with a brush, the place where I'm going to put the tortillas. I'm going to put the heat medium to high and let it heat for about two minutes. After it's heated up, just roughly brush some oil on it. So I put the tortilla to cook. So I'm going to cook it a minute, a minute and a half on each side. So when it looks about like this, I turn it on the other side. So now it's done on both sides. I'm going to take it out. I'm going to do pretty much the same with the rest. But I'm going to show you the apple. Just before I use it, I'm going to 
drying a little bit more of the juice out because otherwise it's going to give you trouble with the dough. It's all the juice out. So the rest is pretty much the same. Put the apple in. Bring it all up. I'll turn it upside down. I'll press it a little bit. Then roll it. It's a good idea with the apple one not to get it too thin because the apple is wet, it's going to get through the door. So very gentle, brought it to a stage where it's not going to be broken. The apple one, I all the time leave it a little bit thicker. So that's pretty much done. Same with the cabbage. And I absolutely love the cabbage. The potatoes. Beautiful. The ricotta cheese. Now with some sugar. Just about that much. And I like to make one, some cabbage and some potatoes together. I absolutely love this mixed flavor. So here I made seven beautiful tortillas with six different fillings. And my work is just about half an hour. And it tastes even better with a cold glass of milk. This is a very cozy recipe. I love to make it for just about any excuse. Please try it and let me know in the comments below. How did it go for you? I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. See you some other times. Bye.